It is a great day. Amen. 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 Glory to God. He just worked a miracle in our midst. Hallelujah. Does everybody realize that? Yes. You have seen a miracle from God. There is no way, no way at all, that we should have been able to buy that building. Our building. Yay. The Lord, the Lord just did it. Hallelujah. We have a new, beautiful, wonderful church building. I can't wait for all of us to get into it. All together. Yeah. Oh, it'll be wonderful. <laughs> you know what? There is no reason, no reason at all in the natural that that should have happened. Amen. It is God. Amen. It's God. God just turned... Our darkness of not knowing what to do or how to do it in the light. Truthfully, you have all experienced, we, we have all experienced a miracle from God. He is so kind. Praise His holy name. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 42, 16 says, I will bring the blind by a way they know not. I'll make their darkness into light before them. I'll make uneven places into a plain. These things I have determined to do for them, and I'll not leave them forsaken. You have just lived it. We all have just lived it. That's what God did for us. We can't even claim to be great faith people. <laughs> but we just weren't. A good example of that is, for about two years, every time I drove past our church, for some reason, I didn't know why, I just asked God to put it up for sale. That was, that was it. I just asked Him to put it up for sale. Did I really have great faith to believe that he would do it? No. <laughs> no. Did I even know why I was asking for it? No. <laughs> I just did it. It was more like wishful thinking, not great faith. I thought, boy, that'd be a good place for us to be. And it all worked out that way. Why? Just because God is so kind. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We can't measure the greatness of His mercy and His love. Amen. I love it. I love living each day with you. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, if you're not doing that, if you're sitting in here this morning, and you're not living each day with Him, you're missing a great adventure. Mm -hmm. The greatest adventure mm -hmm. you can ever have in your life. You are. You hear that back there? <laughs> you hear that? Oh, learn it when you're young. It's much better. Well, that's the way it went. The whole way through this buying process. God let us. Amen. Lamentations 3, 21 through 25. Here's what it says. But this I recall, and therefore have I hope and expectation. It is because of the Lord's mercy and loving kindness that we are not consumed. Because his tender compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great and abundant, abundant is your stability and faithfulness, O oh Lord. The Lord is my portion and share. Says my living being, my inner self, therefore will I hope in Him. I'll wait expectantly for Him. The Lord is good to those who wait hopefully and expectantly now that's important hopefully and expectantly for him to those who seek him 
inquire of and for him and require him. I like this. Require him by right of necessity and on the authority of God's word. If you ask anything according to his will, he hears you. And if he hears you, you know you have the request that you have made. It may not be the way you think you asked for it, but I'll guarantee you, it'll be the right way. Because God's always right. That's the great part about it. God's so good. We cannot begin to comprehend His mercy and His love. But you know what? We can enjoy it. Amen. We can enjoy it every day of our life. And you know it only took me 40 years, 40 <laughs> years to learn that. <laughs> you would think I'd be a faster learner, but I wasn't. You young people in this room right now, put your listening ears on. I am about to tell you something that's going to save you a lot, a lot of misery, if you'll just follow it. I learned this from Jesus and King David, right out of the Bible. Live one day at a time, believing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It's a wonderful way to live. One day at a time. And believe to see God's goodness in that day. You'll be surprised what you see that you haven't seen before. You'll be surprised how wonderful it is to walk in peace. You'll be surprised to find out God's there for you every step of the way. He doesn't meet a beat. <laughs> and when we meet him, we meet the beat, and we have troubles, he's always there for us. It's a miracle what he does for your attitude. Oh boy, your attitude of life. God will change your attitude. And that will change everything for you. Believe in Him. It's such a joy to walk with Him each day. I can't say that enough. Please believe it. It's a joy. It's a joy just to rest in Him. Let Him take over. Quit fighting what He wants you to do. He knows a lot better than you do. Never give up on him. Never. He answers your prayers. He may not answer them the way you wanted them answered, but he'll always give you the right answer. Now remember, if you don't take away anything else from what I've said, live one day at a time. And in that day, believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, you're going to be surprised with what you see. Amen. 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 Amen.